If you are a product manufacturer thinking about creating BIM content, whether that's your first Revit family or a full digital library, you are probably wondering where to start, what is involved and how to make sure you're doing it right. You are not alone. We speak to manufacturers every week who ask us the same key question. So in this video, we're going to walk through the most common questions we hear and give you clear, honest answer to help you move forward with confidence. This is one question we get asked all the time. What exactly do you do when creating BIM content for products? We help manufacturers turn their products into high quality data rich 3D BIM objects, usually in the form of Revit families, so architects, designers and engineers can easily specify them in their projects. That means we create 3D geometry, add the right performance data and parameters and make sure the content is light and easy to use inside the live design models. It's all about helping your products get specified without causing friction in the design workflows. This is something we get asked right at the start of nearly every project. What information do you need from us to get started? And this is a great question. To get started, we usually ask for things like your technical drawings, product data sheets, dimensional details, and performance specifications. If you already have 2D CAD or 3D models, that's a bonus, but it's not essential. And don't worry, we'll always send you a checklist of exactly what we need and there's no guesswork. Our aim is to get your BIM content right the first time. Another really important question we hear is what standards and classification systems do you follow? We follow industry recognized standards to make sure your product's BIM content is usable, shareable and fully compliant. That includes NBS standards, COBE for data exchange and UniClass classification. So your product fit into UK based projects. We also follow ISO 19650 and BS8451 naming convention for consistent file structure naming and parameters. Making your product objects straightforward for designers and architects. It's about giving designers confidence that your BIM content is reliable and ready to use. We often get asked, how do you make sure the Revit families work for designers and architects? This is something we're passionate about because poor quality families cause problems for everyone. We build your families to be easy to place with the right connectors, categories and parameters. So they behave properly inside a live project model. We test the geometry, flex the parameters and validate that materials and finishes are correctly assigned. That way the families are fully parametric, accurate and practical to use in real project workflows, giving designers confidence to specify your products without worrying about technical issues. A lot of manufacturers ask us how long does it take to create BIM content and what impacts the timeline. Timeline really depends on the complexity of your product range. A simple family with minimal parameters might only take a few days, while a large family with multiple configuration could take several weeks. But the key thing is once we have reviewed your product and data, we'll always give you a clear delivery timeline upfront. That way you can plan ahead and know exactly what to expect. You might be wondering, can you help keep our product BIM library updated over time? And the answer is yes, we absolutely can. We can help you update your content and add new ranges and revise product data as your offering evolves. We want your BIM library to grow with your business so it, it stays consistent, high quality and easy for designers to keep using. And this is one of the most important questions we get. What are the benefits of investing in high quality BIM content instead of generic models? 
We don't believe in using genetic models. We build functional, data-rich BIM families that actually work in your real project environments. And that way, architects and designers trust and regularly use your content. When you invest in proper BIM content, your product becomes easier to specify, more reliable in a coordinated model, and help designers to avoid errors. Genetic models often lack correct parameters and can cause problems later on, which frustrates designers and might even lead them to remove your product altogether. In the long term, high quality BIM content protects your brand reputation and make your product far more likely to be specified and used in real projects. So those are the key questions we get asked most often by the manufacturers and we help they have answered a few of yours too. If you are still not sure where to start or have another question, we are happy to have a chat and talk it through. No pressure, just honest advice to help you move forward with clarity.